verbi italiani, terza coniugazione. These are the verbs that end with the suffix ire in the infinitive. There are two sets or groups of verbs in this conjugation. For the sake of clarity, I am calling the first group weak verbs and the second one strong verbs. This is not an official linguistic uh, distinction terminology. It is my way of uh, dividing and distinguishing between the two. Let's take partire as an example of a weak verb and capire as an example of a strong verb. Here we have the subject pronouns you're familiar with. We split the infinitive into the stem and the ending. And then we take the stem and we repeat it. It is invariable for each person. Now we enter the endings. Io parto, tu parti, lui or lei parte, noi partiamo, voi partite, loro partono. Now let's go to what I call strong verbs for the sake of clarity only. Subject pronouns. We take again the stem. We add it to each person. And now we enter the endings. Io capisco. Tu capisci. Lei capisce. Noi capiamo. Voi capite. Loro capiscono. As we can see, there are four persons, for four forms, that require that we insert an extra syllable. Namely, they are io, tu, lui or lei, and loro. Io capisco, tu capisci, lei, lui capisce. and loro capiscono. Noi and voi instead do not require that. Now the syllable is isc, E-S-C, and again it is inserted between the stem and the ending. If you take a look you will see that the endings both of the weak and strong verbs are identical. The only difference is the extra syllable that shows up in this person. We're going now to write a list of uh, verbs, both for the weak and the strong conjugation. We start with the weak aprire, to open, divertire, which means to amuse, and divertirsi, reflexive, to have fun, to have a good time, to enjoy oneself, dormire, very important verb, 
offrire. Offrire in Italian is used very often, for instance, when you go out to a cafe and uh, you want to buy someone a coffee, you ask, posso offrire? Can I buy you? May I offer you? Partire, to depart, to take off from, to leave. Seguire, to follow. Sentire. Sentire means both to hear a sound and also to sense. So you can sense a feeling, an emotion, or a sensation. Sentire. Servire. Very useful in idiomatic expressions like mi serve una penna. I need a pen. The subject is una penna, serve a me. Scoprire, to discover. Soffrire, which is what students of Italian verb conjugations do. Io soffro quando studio i verbi. Vestire, to dress, to dress someone, to dress your dog, your doll, your children. To get dressed is reflexive, vestirsi, to dress oneself or to get dressed. And now a list of what I call strong verbs. They are the ones who re that require the additional syllable between the stem and the ending. Capire, io capire. Costruire, to build. Definire, when we study a language we need to define a lot of words. So, definisco. Digerire, we talk a lot about mangiare in Italian. So, digerire, to digest, is an important verb. Dimagrire which means to lose weight, to get skinny. Finire, to finish, to complete. Preferire, io preferisco il gelato italiano. Pulire, to clean, to clean up. And I'm going to stop here. There are, of course, many other ones, many more, but these are probably the most frequently used and most useful.